Hello everyone, it's Stephanie Manley and I'm still a fountain pen freak, even if I haven't put a video online for a little bit. Still 11 pens, just haven't made a video um, in quite a while. But today I wanna to talk to you about two pens and that would be my Opus 88 itself. Right here, this is the clear one. And I also got the Coloro. Now I got these right around um, Christmas. I believe I got this one on sale and this one I also got with a discount code with Goulet pens. And I gotta say, I really like these pens. Um, a great value. They run, this one was more expensive. I think it was 120 some odd dollars. Um, this one was right around $100. Um, so let me tell you what, what they come with. They both come with the same exact box. Um, it's a nice box. It has the syringe that you're going to fill the pen with. And the pen fits in there. You see that one? And that one too. Fit in there just fine. It also comes with um, an instruction booklet. And now these are an eyedropper pen, and um, I gotta say, I really like them. Um, I didn't get it so much for the unique eyedropper quality. I just hadn't heard about these pens, or I was just starting to hear about them, and I heard great things. So I thought I would try one. So this is the one in green and tan, and this has a number five size nib on it. So really nice, and I believe this is um, celluloid, and this just looks like some type of plastic. Of course, celluloid, I think, I guess is plastic. I'm gonna say that wrong. Um, it has a number five size nib. It's really comfortable in the hand. Um, I don't typically post with it. I think for me, it's a little back weighted when it's posted, but I gotta tell you, nib wise, um, I believe this is a broad. Let me check. Nope, this is a medium. This one's the broad. Uh, writes really, really nicely. Now, I probably haven't written with this pen for a good two weeks. Um, but it writes wonderfully. If I had to compare this to a nib, I would compare it to a Pilot nib. Not quite as buttery smooth, but pretty close. Um, really again really nice I can't say anything bad about this um, they come in snazzy colors this is just the one I chose and I will say right at first I thought oh my pen's not working um, I will say that when you get these pens you have to uh, screw to unscrew this to let air go through um, these hold a lot of ink a lot of ink this one is almost out of ink. Um, you probably haven't seen me do any pens lately because gosh, honestly, these have been inked up and they hold so much. Um, so here we go. This one's really nice and let me tell you, and they both fill just the same and I'll show you how to fill this one. Um, this is the Opus 88. This is obviously a demonstrator. This has a number six nib. Now this one is a broad um, and I'll fill it in just a second. Now it's gonna take um, a second or two for everything to go through. So I'm going to fill it with the green. St. Patrick's Day is coming up soon. This is a sample that I got from my ink journal box that I haven't been putting online lately. And it's a Kyoto tag Kyo no Oto. So um, ink. It's green. But hey, why not? St. Patrick's Day. This is, I believe, a two mil sample. And um, I'll tell you what, this actually takes about three mils. So um, I know Goulet pen samples, or ink samples are very generous. Um, and uh, you can fill the whole thing in there. So I'm just going to dip this just to get it wet. Now I'm going to show you how it writes here. Now this one writes, oh, that is not green. How about that? That looks very to me huh how interesting I did that or I have a dirty nib one of the two I'm gonna try that again I swore this looked very green ah, I did have a little brown ink on it last okay buttery smooth 
it writes, it uses up a lot of ink. Um, this one for a broad nib is a little bit of a gusher. So I kind of like that. Okay, to fill, you're gonna unscrew it from here. And I think you can see right here is where you fill it. Um, now this plunger works in kind of a unique way. So let me tell you what to do here. Ah. I'm gonna pull this out, whoops, but not off. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pull that out and then honestly, this is very well designed. Uh, you're just gonna put this in here, grab up all the ink that you can. You're gonna put it in here. You can see that was a two mil sample. Uh, I don't want that to fall over. Okay, this was a two mil sample. I'll get the right thing. Oh, and I've gotten more ink all over me. That's awesome. Um, you can see it fills up the whole, it doesn't really fill up the whole thing. So you could have easily got in another mil, maybe a mil and a half of ink in here. So again, buttery smooth, great pens. I know they're coming out with some pretty cool new colors right now, but there you go. Um, that is the Opus 88 Demonstrator. And then we have the Coloro. Gotta say that I like both of these pens. I think they write both really well. Um, I did buy both of these online because I didn't think John Gold's, my local pen shop, had any, or they didn't have any the last time I was in. I will say that. Um, but now they do carry them, so they carry them there as well. But both really great pens, great writers. My only comment about this is if you have a smaller hand, um, I do get a little bit of fatigue from this just because it's so big. It's gigantic uh, to hold right around here. Whereas I find for me personally, um, this one is a lot more comfortable. So if you're a guy or someone else with big hands, um, this may work well for you. I will say that once you fill this thing up with almost three, three and a half mils of ink, you don't need to refill it for a good while. Um, and that's with a broad nib. And um, I've got to think that the, the medium nib and the uh, fine nibs, you can get even more uh, usage out of them. But there you go. Love both of these pens. Definitely think, uh, if you're in the mood to try something new, um, both are great candidates. So I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope to have more videos back online again soon. But uh, hey, let me know what new pen discoveries you've had recently. I'd love to hear. And again, thanks so much for watching and we'll chat soon. Bye-bye.